Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Rukuku Dile and this is my channel. If you like my energy, my vibe, please subscribe to my channel. Also check me out on TikTok and on Instagram at Rukuku Dile underscore N. Um, I'm very active on TikTok. <laughs> I just posted a TikTok now. Okay, so this video I wanted to make specifically just as an intro to my Demologica video. I finally went to Demologica and I got um, this. So I am here for a Pro Skin 30 skin treatment. And um, my camera woman will be taking some nice shots and we can see how the treatment is, how it goes. I just filled out this personal skin fitness plan. You know, they want to know what products are you using, contact details, and um, if you've had any allergies. Uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how the treatment goes. It's supposed to be 30 minutes. And yeah, okay. And I wanted to make this video specifically for people who are considering getting it but don't know what it's like. You know, because I this is I looked for a video like this before I, because there's a video on everything. Before I I went to Demologica and I booked my appointment. I just wanted to see what do people think of it, how's the experience, is it value for money, you know. Um, so I booked my appointment for it was I think the 16th of June, or it was a Saturday. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it was. It was a day. <laughs> I booked my appointment. I went to Dermalogica. It cost me 430 or 450 somewhere there for 30 minutes of the skincare treatment. And how I found the experience, I, I really enjoyed the experience. First of all, I got to the store. I was early. I was on time for my appointment. Um, the lady there was very nice and um, she allowed me to film well they allow you to film but I just asked to film she said sure no problem and then um, okay so she wanted to know about like my skincare concerns to just know if I'm on any medication have I been sick in the past year am I taking anything am I do I have any chronic illnesses just medical history just a bit and skincare history as well so if you don't know i've had um i've been on orotane or roaccutane twice in my life and um, i had bad acne i haven't had very bad acne but i just get um hormonal acne so yeah and i just have spots now so she asked about skincare medical ish history and then um, she did like a bunch of tests on my skin she checked for um, sensitivity she checked for um, how oily my skin is like what is, is it combination is it oily she looked at the oiliness of my skin they use very fancy gadgets so before this is part of the skin consultation you sit in the chair she does all that stuff she checked my skin for hydration i think my skin was at 17 or 15, 19 or 17 and when your skin is hydrated or that the hydration level that most people have when it's hydrated is like 55 I was at like a teen, 17 to 19. Those two numbers, I'm not really sure now. But I know it was a very, very low <laughs> number. And I kept saying, because when, when she asked, what are your skin concerns? I said, I feel like my skin is very dry. and But I'm oily at the same time. So I, I need a product or I need my skin to just feel like it's hydrated. Um... So yeah, it was the skin consultation. She got a better understanding of my skin. I told her some of my skin's history. I told her my skin's history. I told her what products I was using. I was using Poshia M, the very oily skin range. Um, I had everything that you could have from Poshia M for your skin, for your face. So I told her what products I was using. Um, she said, um, she was going to recommend products that I could use that would suit my skin um, at the end of the consultation. So after the, the the consultation, her testing my skin out, seeing what products she should use for my 
I'll say for for the facial, yeah, because there was a lot of stuff that she did, and I don't know what she did. There was a mask. There was um, exfoliation because she said I didn't exfoliate, and I don't, I didn't exfoliate then. So there was that. Um, she did a lot of stuff. Honestly, that money is it worth? Is it worth it? Is the value for money for me? My first consultation, the thirty minutes one for four thirty or four fifty is worth it and you do it once a month but for me next month i will be doing something else appealing of some sort and that is 700 and something so it's not always the same treatment but you go every month and you do something different that built on and hopefully over time it'll address your skincare concerns so what ended up happening with me is that i I, at the end she recommended products the products totaled over 6,000 grams <laughs> I did not have it I still don't I will never have it okay never is a very strong word but I still don't have that 6,000 <laughs> when she added everything up I just laughed and I'm just like uh uh there's no way budget tech if, if I was buying products is a thousand grams because she had all of the all of the things an exfoliator a milking ink a thing that hydrates um that thing that you put on at night that retinol there was a lot and i'm sure if i use those products my skin would be it would be doing more wonders but i just i told her no i couldn't afford any of those things sunscreen was like over a thousand rand for just sunscreen and i was like mm -mm. the minute she started talking and she said six thousand rand in my head I had a shop that I knew I was going to after that consultation and I wasn't even moved I wasn't even sad as she was talking but I did make the commitment to keep getting the skin treatments with them because oh my skin felt so good it did it felt so good and just as an act of self-love I mean I do everything with my money I can do this too or I can cut some of the things that are bad for me like unhealthy eating and put my money into my skin um, so the shop I had in mind as she was talking after she said 6,000 was Kiehl's I've been to Kiehl's I've done like a skin test thing where they check are you oily are you what what products do they recommend so I had been there before they had given me sample products to try out so after my skin consultation I went to Kiehl's <laughs> <laughs> got to kills and I got a, a cleanser a cleanser that also exfoliates so I got two products and my products totaled just like 1.2 which 6,000 1.2 no ways it was just two products I didn't get their sunscreen I still have sunscreen so I'll let me get the products actually but I'll show you I got the kills ultra facial cream and I still have my Zerodem sunscreen from way way back so I'm still using the same sunscreen that I was using and then I have like a kills cleanser that exfoliates and does something else but it's also it's just supposed to help me get rid of my spots and then once it's done its job I'm supposed to stop using it but I can use both of these products at during in the morning and at night so I'm very happy about that that I was able to get two products <laughs> instead of a million products like just getting two products is what I needed I need something simple I need something that I won't and the way my skin feels after I use these products tells me that I made the right choice because before I used these products I was using Pusha M before I used Pusha M I spent a whole lot of money almost 2,000 Rand on clinic products that ended up I ended up getting an allergic reaction so I took them back and got my money back and then after that I went back to Porsche M but my skin was just it, it quiet it, it was quiet but it wasn't it didn't look healthy to me so that's when I went to Dermatologica and I got my facial then they recommended products that I should use based on my skin and skin concerns and 
sensitivity dryness oiliness all of that um but i couldn't afford any of those products and honestly if we're gonna talk skincare i can't be using 10 million products where am i gonna keep them i live in a five by three meter five meter by three meter apartment that's my kitchen my bathroom my bed my desk area that whole 15 square meter flat where am i gonna put 700 million products so went to kills i got the two products i am absolutely enjoying the products my skin feels bona my skin feels like i can smile when i'm shiny i know it's not shine it's hydration you know so i, I don't know i just i just love my product but i wanted to make the video about what you can expect from your consultation with Dermalogica and if it's not in your budget to buy their products or if you can't afford them or if you can buy one by one slowly slowly don't pressurize yourself into unnecessary things that you that you can't sustain you know for me it wasn't going to be sustainable to start products that's six thousand rand you know that i know that i won't be able to sustain them because a i don't make that much to buy products for that much b i don't wanna mm -mm, you know so it's all up to you but i really recommend the facial um they're not paying me to make this video by the way but if you were thinking about doing the facial it's definitely value for money and if you have any questions just let me know in the description box below bye guys